Officially classified as a carbine, the KS-23 shows you another side of shotguns you haven't seen before. In fact, the inspiration behind the development of this gun is quite different from what shotguns are meant to be. In most cases, shotguns were basically used for home defense, animal hunting, and wars. But another use was derived when the KS-23 was developed to suppress riots. It is the largest bore shotgun in use today with its massive 23 millimeter caliber. Welcome back to the US Marines channel. This video contains all the information you need to know about the gigantic four gauge shotgun in existence. But before we start, do us a favor by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Let's dive in. Russians have steadily built a reputation for creating the most interesting weapons among other nations. One of these weapons is the KS-23, which has a fascinating history. Unlike the purposes of many Russian weapons, this gun wasn't created to fight a war. Instead, the country made it to fight prison riots. It was designed in the 1970s by Tanis Tokmash, a critical Soviet weapons developer for the Ministry of Internal Affairs, or MVD. Many features of the KS-23 make it very unusual. The barrel of this gun comes from the most unexpected source, a 23mm aircraft gun barrel. The 23mm aircraft gun barrels used in creating this weapon were initially rejected for manufacturing flaws. Because of many issues with the 23mm aircraft gun, it was converted for use for the lower stress of firing slugs and less lethal rounds. So controlling prison riots was one of the primary purposes it served. Since this gun was initially designed for use in helicopters and other aircraft, they were rifled instead of a smooth bore, as seen with other shotguns. Due to this reason, the KS-23 is often placed within the category of carbines. Another design that makes it look different from other shotguns is the grip. It comes with a pistol-style grip instead of the usual straight grip from other shotguns. Despite being created in the 1970s, the KS-23 waited over a decade to see its first significant use in the 1980s by the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs Forces. Since the original was created in the 1970s, more variants of this weapon have been designed and produced. KS-23 specifications will show you why it was named the Karabin Spetsalini, its translation, Special Carbine. If you haven't set your eyes on the KS-23, it is the biggest bore shotgun in existence. The barrel of this gun is so big that the hole it leaves on its target can be one of the most frightening things to watch. This gun weighs about 3.85 kilograms and is 41 inches or 1,040 millimeters long. The barrel length is around 20 inches and it features a cartridge of 23 by 75 MMR. But the most interesting thing anyone can point out about the KS-23 is its caliber. It is the caliber that made it much famous. In simple terms, the caliber of this gun is bigger than anything you have ever seen in other existing shotguns. And yes, it is bigger than the 12 gauge. Within the metric system, the KS-23 is a 4 gauge shotgun. When compared, the barrel diameter of this gun is 23 millimeters, while the largest 12 gauge is 18.5 millimeters in diameter. That's more than a 4.5 millimeter difference. The largest of this weapon caliber is why it was banned in the United States. The massive KS-23 is a pump action with a multi-lugged rotating bolt. The effective range of the KS-23 is historically known to be very short. Even at that, it differs depending on the variance of the weapon. The original KS-23 and the KS-23M variant have an effective range of 150 meters. On the other hand, the KS-23K variant has an effective range of 100 meters. The feeding system of this gun also depends on the variant. The original model of this gun has a feeding system of 1 plus 3 shells in an under barrel tube. The KS-23K variant features a 7 shell detachable box magazine. This magnificent shotgun features a front blade and a tear notch for its sights. While the sights of this gun seem extremely austere, some qualities make it extra unique from standard shotguns. The KS-23 offers a telescopic sight, even though it is little or no use when firing buckshot. Many parts of this weapon are made from wood, while others are made from polymer and metals. The stock of the KS-23 is carved from walnut, while the pump is made from polymer. 
Due to the different components making up its parts, it gives the weapon a haphazard appearance. It also features sling swivels fitted to the magazine plug and the base of the stock. At the front of the trigger group, the safety of this Mastiff shotgun is controlled by a button. Another prominent part of this gun's design is that the bold carrier resembles those used in Eugene Stoner's assault rifle designs. The KS-23 is a fascinating gun that can fire different ammunition. The design of this type of shotgun allows it to harbor more than five ammunition types. The shrapnel tin is one of the ammunition types this gun can fire, and it is basically a buckshot round with a 10 meter effective range. It is closely followed by the shrapnel 25, which has a 25 meter effective range. There's also the barricada, a cartridge with a solid steel projectile that can destroy a vehicle's engine block. It has an effective firing range of 100 meters. The Volna ammunition is not used for practical combat. Instead, it is used for educating new shooters on how to use the gun. One of the things that makes the KS-23 a beautiful sight to behold is that rubber bullets and non-bullet ammunition can be fired from it. If you have fired live shots from 12-gauge shotguns, you will find it interesting to see the KS-23 firing non-bullet ammunition like blank grenades and tear gas. The Strela 3 ammunition of this gun is basically a plastic bullet. The Sharamuka 7 is a tear gas grenade featuring a CN agent. The Siren 7 is similar to the Cherimuka 7, as both are tear gas grenades. Zveda is a flashbang ammunition round, while the PV-23 is used for launching grenades. Since its design and development kicked off in the 1970s, the KS-23 has undergone massive changes, giving birth to other variants. The KS-23M is one of the best known variants of this weapon, and its development started in October 1990. Originally called the KS-23M Drozd, the whole developmental process of this variant was focused on the base of the KS-23. After 25 carbines were submitted for testing on December 10, 1991, one was chosen and integrated into the Russian service force. The prominent differential feature between the KS-23M and the standard KS-23 lies in its stock. While the KS-23M features a detachable wire buttstock and shortened barrel, the standard KS-23 has a fixed wooden stock. There's no difference in the gun's caliber, as it is still chambered in 23mm, and its effective range is within 150mm. Another variant of the KS-23 is the KS-23K version. It is best described as the redesigned KS-23 that features a bullpup layout. After several tests, the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs MVD, accepted this weapon for use in 1998. The design and development of the KS-23K were based on several deficiencies pointed out in the previous variants of the weapon. The standard KS-23 and KS-23M were found to have a flaw with the feeding system. The tubular magazine of earlier variants did not make it possible to rapidly reload or change the type of ammunition used in the weapon. So another version needed to be developed to solve this issue. That was where the KS-23K came in, as it features an extended box magazine that holds seven shells instead of the three shells seen on the other versions of the weapon. But unlike the other variants, the KS-23K has an effective firing range of 100 meters. The civilian version of the KS-23 is called TOZ-123 Selizen 4. The design of this version makes it quite different from the others. In fact, the design makes it look like the traditional 12-gauge shotguns. But despite its smoothbore design, it still retains its 23mm caliber. It was first manufactured by Tolsky or Hayev Nazad in 1995, and it has been legal to use as a civilian hunting shotgun in Russia since August 1996. According to the makers of this weapon, reloading it is provided with a removable fore end. With its tubular under-barrel magazine of 3 cartridge capacity, this version of the KS-23 is specifically meant for amateur hunting and nothing else. Despite its use in Russia, this model of the KS-23 has been banned from being imported into the United States since Clinton's administration. 
We have come to the end of our video. Under the comments section, tell us what you think about the KS23 and its versions. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to be the first person to watch our new videos. Peace.